Hey there, I'm Steve, and welcome to the Gems and Entertainment. And welcome to the conversation. Just before we get started, there are many ways you can help. You can like and subscribe so you never miss a conversation. But most importantly, please share this video. Get the word out there as a community we can talk about all the things that we love. Today on Throwback Thursday, we're looking at Ghostbusters, the original. Starring Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Sigourney Weaver, Harold Ramis, Rick Moranis, Annie Potts, William Alterton, and Ernie Hudson. This movie is an iconic, classic masterpiece. The movie starts out introducing us to the character Peter Venkman. He is testing students to see if they have telekinesis or telepathic powers. The reason why I put it that in air quotes is he is clearly messing with the dude and he's flirting with the girl. And he's paying them a whole whopping five dollars to do this. This is a great opener to this character because he's kind of a jerk. But he's like the lovable kind of a jerk. Actually it doesn't open up with that. It opens up with an actual ghost sighting at one of New York's huge libraries and then it goes to the scene I just described. Ray Stance comes in and interrupts the experiment. <laughs> and tells Venkman what happened at the library, and they both go with their partner Egon Spengler to investigate. Venkman doesn't really take any of this seriously, while Stance and Spengler are very serious about it. Spengler is a little too serious about it. Actually, when they get to the library, Spengler's already there testing things. Venkman messing with him. This movie's just one laugh after another. I love this movie. So the three of them, at first, are just doing this kind of on the side. There are supposed to be professors at of college. Their department gets shut down because in the eyes of the university, they're a do-nothing department, and so they get Stance to mortgage his parents' place after he inherited it. There's a lot of shortcuts in this movie. It's only an hour and 45 minutes long. It's low budget. Most of the budget is in the effects that's towards the end of the movie, and Bill Murray was the biggest cast member at the time. Anyway, they get money so they can actually have a headquarters for Ghostbusters, and they hire Janine as their secretary. Things are going pretty slow, but then they get a call, and then things really pick up. Between when they started and they got that first call, Dana is a woman, she plays the cello in the orchestra? She plays a stringed instrument in the orchestra. I think it's cello. And she has a paranormal encounter, and she goes to their office. Venkman is infatuated with her, and so he goes to her apartment to check things out. The first time they're together, he's creepy. The second time, he still is but he respects her more, thankfully. It's just a weird relationship that these two have. Once they're doing very well and they're successful, a guy named Walter Peck comes from the Environmental Protection Agency and he's concerned about what the Ghostbusters are doing. But he goes about it all wrong. Of course, he's from the government. What can you expect? And he's the ultimate reason why everything goes wrong. So the Ghostbusters have a containment field for all the ghosts that they capture. If you just suddenly turn off the power, all chaos breaks loose. Well, Walter Peck goes in there with a court order to stop everything, and he orders someone to turn it off, and of course, all chaos breaks loose. And I'm gonna leave it there. There's a lot more detail, but I've been prattling on and on about it. This movie is great. Came out in 1984. I love that everything's practical. Now, some of the effects don't age well. There is stop motion that they blend into the real world, and it didn't age well. You kind of gloss over it because the rest of the movie is really, really good. This movie has everything from a great story, great characters, great comedy, great setup, great world building, and an awesome soundtrack. It has one of the best themes for a movie out there. Absolutely awesome. If you haven't watched this yet, I definitely suggest you do, and you gotta get this on Blu-ray. Those are my thoughts on the original Ghostbusters. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and live your imagination.